What's up, guys? David Hoffman here from David's Been here in beautiful Barbados with my boy Marcus, the coconut king right here. Today we're going to be yes. doing coconuts, right? Yeah. All so, day. so all day. Today's Sunday. This is coconut day here in Barbados. From my understanding, people go to church. They come. They get coconut water. They buy a gallon. You buy also uh, Fingers, bottles, small water, jelly, everything. Here. Everything. Awesome. So you just got all these, right? You cut these down. All fresh. Look at this. Good water. Nice plate. Yes, yeah, sir. Wow. It's intense. They're here every day, but Sunday's the day to come for sure. Sunday is a lot of people. I recommend I Marcus it. though. So Marcus, where are we in Barbados? Newton. 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 So it's south. Newton Highway. Got it. Got it. Newton Highway. So many got. All right. What's your name again? Uh, Ramel. Ramel. Thank you so much, man. No Ramel follows me, and he's like, dude, you came out. I saw you. What is this? Rum punch. Rum punch. Yes, definitely. Rum rum punch. It's amazing. And this is your own brand? 100% army. Made here in Barbados. So what's rum punch, for people who don't know? Well, rum punch basically is a combination of five ingredients. So you have rum, lime juice, water, sugar, and angostrobicus. Got it. So the bitters is like, sort of what makes it like... Yeah, give us, give it this amber-like color. You can drink also. Okay. And I will just pour it in. And you can catch me pouring it in for you. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to pour it inside? Yeah. Let's do it. It's amazing. I've never had this like this, dude. Yep, here you go. So this is Rommel's rum, rum punch. Love it. Dude, I can't wait to try this. Yes. I'm super excited. Oh, it's incredible. Mixed with the coconut water, mm, nice and sweet. This is fantastic. Yeah, definitely. But you wanted me to try it alone, right? Yep. So you know what? If you can hold that for a second. This is amazing. Here on the side of the road in Barbados, having rum and punch, coconut water. Yeah, Dude, this is the life. The life in BIM, right? Mmm. Yeah. What I love about rum punch is those bitters. Yep. You know, it's a little different, right? So it's not just rum and fruit. It's a little bit of sugar, yeah. bitters, rum. What else? What? Yeah, and lime juice. And lime juice. Yes, correct. I'll, I'll give you a little uh, insight. The only juice it's supposed to be in the traditional rum punch is lime juice. Okay. Yes, if you add any other juice to it, it's a planter's punch now. It's a planter's it's punch. Planter's punch. It's Got no it. longer really a rum punch. And what rum do you use or is that a secret? Uh, I, I, Barbadian rum. Barbadian rum, Barbadian obviously. Rum. They yeah. invented rum here in 1703. Yes. Dude, this is awesome. You know what? I'm going to finish that coconut. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. I won't lie to you. I'm super happy. I love being here. Wow. Yeah. What's cool is that we're literally on the side of the road. This is the highway right here, right? Yeah. And it's a Sunday. Hey, God bless the day. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. Whoa, that is like filling. Yeah. It's a lot. This is a big one. And it's 40 different variations of coconuts here. Incredible. So Mark is going to tell us all about it. Every, everyone's different, right? Yeah. A little sweeter, some have more jelly, some have less jelly. Coconut culture here in Barbados. And when you're done, this is what you do. That one didn't really have that much jelly. Toss it. Ramel, hey, my man, thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. No problem at all. It was fate that we ran into each other. He's like, I follow you, you got some rum. This is my company, Rum and Punch from him. And it's Rock Punch. Rock Punch underscore 246. You know, follow him, you can buy the rum. Hey, my man, thank you so much. I'm gonna go and get some coconuts now. Thank you. Ready, rock and roll? Ready to rock and roll. Let's go. I'll see you in five minutes. All right, yeah. Maybe half an hour. Okay, okay. okay. I'm jumping on the truck. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's go. Going to get some coconuts. My man, I'll see you later. Next time, next time. I'm rock and roll, dude. You making a seat for me right there? Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Thank you. This is it right here. How many machetes you got, bro? So you use these to get up the tree? Spikes. Spikes, huh? Woo! Right now we're heading with Marcus to get some coconuts. He's gonna climb a tree. Is that what you guys do? You climb the tree, cut it down, they all fall, put them in here into the big truck, bring it here to the corner, right to this strip actually, the highway. This is the main highway, right? That goes up and down, right? Yeah. So I forget where I am in Barbados. It's amazing. So we made it here to Silver Sands. This is in Christchurch, the very bottom of Barbados. 
So we're gonna get to a point where there's a lot of palm trees. My boy here is gonna climb the top and get some for us, some good coconuts. Huh? Only one tree. Only one tree. Okay. Got it, got it. So what species is that? No idea, right? I mean, they look a little small. They don't look too big. Let's see. All right, I'll follow you. Oh, let's go, let's go. I'm super excited, this is amazing. Marcus, dude, that was awesome. You good? Dude, you're wearing this in the seat, bro, you're wild. <laughs> oh, so we're going through this small shed right here. Wow, wow, this is like, gotta be careful here. Look at this. Oh, is that the tree right there? Got it, got it, got it. He's gonna climb up to that tree right there. Oh my gosh. That's high, man. Whoa, it looks like you're rock climbing, bro, with this thing. Okay, so he, he holds the rope while you climb, right? Okay. Stay safe, bro. Look at his, see the feet? And he locks up, very similar to rock climbing. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah, so he starts himself in when he gets to the top, so he can't fall. And then he pulls out the knife, right, like a little machete, and he cuts him down. Nice coconuts up in here. Yeah, they look pretty big, huh? And he just told me this is his 41st tree of the day. 41st tree. Wow. So you know how much coconuts does get cut? Thousands, yeah. millions. Thousands a day, a day. At least for a workout, at least one workout. Thousands or more. Wow. Dude, what's scary is that tree can literally fall. That tree can fall, dude. Oh. oh, first one. Yeah, see in Miami what we do is they put like a cushion, like almost like a bed cushion, mm -hmm. so they don't break, you know? Oh, he's cutting it now. Clear. Oh, he's dropping a, a big one down. It's the whole thing, huh? Wow. Dude, that was scary. Dude, you saw how massive those coconuts are? Huge. Yeah, they can grow back. I mean, they grow back pretty fast, actually. Like half a year, right? Pretty fast. I mean, the good thing is they have lots of trees. Oh my God. As you can see what he's doing now, he's strapping it, right? Putting onto the rope. And then once it's secure, he'll cut it. And then he'll slowly let it down. Watch it here, loose one. Careful. Oh my God. See, what he has to do is when, he, when he's going down, he says, man, under in case a coconut falls on him. If one of those falls on him, he could literally die. That would destroy you. Huge coconuts. It's amazing how big they are. How long does it take that, for that to grow? Four weeks. Oh, they'll grow back in that long? That's it? Six weeks, that's it for that to grow again? Massive. Oh my God. He's going down? He's coming down. Whoa. Go in my yard. Go in my yard. Don't hit the garden, bro. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh my gosh. It's amazing, dude. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hey, thanks, bro. Thanks. That's it. Now we have to carry it to the car, right? To the van? I hope you guys, I hope you guys. Let's go. I'll see what I can grab. Let me see. It's a little, a small batch here. Oh, I mean, these guys are carrying it on their back. I'm carrying it. Oh, oh, wow. What was that? What was that? That, that was like the separation. Instead of a fence, they have a little line. Oh, sweating. I barely did anything. This is blazing in the sun right now. All right, let me get to the... Dude, you did it. Amazing job. You're dying? The man comes over like 10 in this tree. <laughs> After that workout, man. I don't want to feel like you're going dead, but you ain't going dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get up here with them. That's for you? It's amazing. So right now what Marcus is doing is he's cutting a few for one of the owners, right? Yeah. So the owners, sometimes they ask for some, sometimes they don't. In Miami, I have a few coconut trees, or palm trees, right? 
and guys will come and they'll do the same thing and they'll tell us like we'll give you 10 and we'll take the rest and we're like yeah do it that's a massive one dude it's a lot even for a small one. Yeah? Oh, it's a lot of jelly. Yeah. You can tell from the thickness of the jelly how old the nut is. Oh, yeah? yeah? From the thickness? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll drink some, I'll drink some. No, it's finished. Oh, it's finished? Oh, yeah. Is that finished? That's a long one. Yeah. It's so hot? It is finished. Yeah, mm. it's <laughs> So now we're going back to his spot on the highway. We're going to cut up some coconuts. We're going to try some jelly. See the different variations? You know, there's so many different species here. He said he have 40 different species. Each palm is different. So what aren't exactly the same. They never are. You got small ones, you have huge ones, you have yellow ones, very different, right? Surprise, surprise. We're going for more coconuts. <laughs> He's like, that tree looks good. There's a lot of coconuts up there. Let's go. Let me jump out here. You're ready, huh? Always ready, man. They have meat, they have his... Look at all the dogs, man. This is like a dog farm out here. He's going for these. Paying for reproduction. So, in terms of reproduction, so you cut a few branches, you cut the old ones off, and then it'll just reproduce better. Yeah. Got it, got it. It's almost like banana trees, right? So when you banana tree, you cut it, and then it'll like keep growing better and better. Almost like hair, right? You shoot a little, little trim, trim, and you're good. Oh man, gotta be careful, this thing's falling. Palm tree, coconut tree is like the source of life, nectar of the gods. It has every type of nutrition for you, like uh, it has electrolytes, it has potassium, everything's in it. Stop, stop. Oh my gosh, he just put two on that, like almost like a, <laughs> like a, a pulley, almost like, Phew! oh my God, oh my God. Look at that, look at that guys, take out all the supernuts. He clears it. Wow. So what we have to do here, we're helping the neighborhood, right? So we're cutting the tree for them. And we're getting rid of all these excess branches. Basically giving it some new life, right? Almost like hair. Yeah, we're doing this for free. For free. Ready? Wow. Need help with that. So we take this back to the truck, right? Oh, look at this. This is a heavy one. That's good. Then one's here drinking, then one is for baking. For baking? Yeah, baking bread. Oh, wow. Yeah? Sugar cakes. That one? Cake. What's the difference between those and these? Um, these ones now got the better taste in the water. The good taste in the water. That water is still good, but that water now is more mature water. It tastes kind of gone now. Got it. But the use of that now is the meat. Back in the days now, our elder people usually boil it. To okay. Throw up the neck, the oil on the top. And are those older ones or what are they? Yeah, just yeah, the older ones. Older ones. Right. All right. My man here just did his 42nd tree of the day. That's why he's so thin, bro. <laughs> you don't gain weight. Your metabolism, man. I know your metabolism is high, dude. I mean, fast. <laughs> Whoa. Right here is all the coconuts we got. Come back here, my boy. Get a post up. All right. All right, all right. I won't lie, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. My boy here must be super exhausted. Climbing 42 trees today. That's why he's drinking all the coconut water. Oh. 
Oh, I need a break. All right, so we stopped at one of these side streets to get a beer, some water. Let's go. We had a little break, huh? <laughs> I mean, after that hard work, dude, it's the hard labor, dude. All right. Let's do it. What do you want? Banks? Is everybody getting banks or what are they getting? Deputy. A deputy. I've got a deputy too. I haven't had a deputy in a minute. Oh, you've been drinking with rum? Oh, dude, rum, and I've been drinking a lot of coconut water. Oh my god, I'm dying, dude, I'm dying. All you can do is drink your rum. Man, too much rum punch, too much. Uh, this, is, this is amazing. This is somebody's house. And they just made like a mini bar. Most houses in Barbados, like, um, have like shops attached to them, rum shops. As you can see in here, there's like a variety of snacks, food, beers, anything. So it's like a village shop, pretty much. That's awesome. I like the flags. Thank you so much. Whoa! So like a limited edition, huh? For crop over. I guess it would have been for crop over. Yeah, yeah, wash wears. I want one of them on. Feels good. Um, the deputy. Every chief needs his deputy, right? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Every chief? Every no. Sheriff. Sheriff, every sheriff. Every sheriff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into the law. <laughs> oh, it's good on a hot day today. I understand why you guys drink this. Oh, my God. It's light, it's light crispy good. and It like brings me back to life right now. Today was very hot. Yeah, it's humid. It's like the wind is blowing nothing. So. When the rain came, you feel a little bit of breeze, but at the same time, you feel that humidity is hit you. Mm. <sighs> Smoking hot, man. I'm really thinking about buying a place here. This place is amazing. Barbados, Bim, so good. What a great day. You feeling good? Yeah. Safe in the tropics, eh? Dude, that, that's, that's brutal work, huh? That's brutal. And I understand why they sell it at the price they sell it, because, oh my god, to get it? It's a task. What's that? I it's work, dude. To be honest with you, I can't wait to eat the, the jelly. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, everything we need. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, four for ten, so it's gonna be like uh, around 20, right? Let's say that. Yeah, I think they're having no extra tidbits, it's soda. I think they're having a couple yeah, of yeah. sodas, so maybe 25, maybe? 25, okay. No problem. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, 50. How much? 20, 50. Yeah. There you go. Keep the change. Keep it. Yeah. No problem. Man. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice. All right. Woo. Whoa. Oh, I'm tired. One beer, I'm like done. Lightweight. <laughs> So right now we're, we're gonna go uh, to a few more trees. It's at least six more, but it really depends on how much, how many people are on it. Oh wow, that one, those have a lot right there. You don't pick those? Yeah, so certain people don't let you cut their trees, of course, because they want it for themselves. But if these guys want, they'll go knock and they'll be like, yo, can we have some of your coconuts? We'll give you some, right? Same thing. It happens in Miami, so Miami, in my home, my parents' home, my parents have like, uh, what is it, three, three palm trees, right? And we have a lot of coconuts. And what happens is people come, they're like, hey, can we cut for you? We'll give you a few. And my dad's like, yeah, always. Right? And then what they do is they give us like 10, take like 50, and they pack up their van and take it to New York State, Times Square. In Times Square, they'll sell one of these guys, one of these guys for 10 US dollars. 10. But you know what? Fuel, gas, labor, you know, that's what it costs. Are we going to the back one? Or? First batch. Clarinet. That's a species. This guy knows every single type of palm tree. It's incredible. He's seen this is a clarinet. It's different. So right now he's adding the rope to it, right? He's latching it on. Now he's cutting. Now he's cutting. So, not enough there, right? Hmm? Not enough here? 
Why, too heavy, right? It's not heavy. I carry it very cool. This one, my is gorillas. Oh, shit. That's a little crazy. One of the neighbors is like, hey, you can't do that. You can't do that. And you're like, oh, yeah, we can. This piece is here. It's the stuff for tomorrow. Oh, it's for tomorrow? Yeah. With that open the highway, you don't see how much coconuts done cut out. Done. And still got a lot here for the back. So, boy, I mean, you see it just like, already start in the morning. Me? Me, me, me? See how the pink boys cut hang. Oh, okay, okay, so it's pink? Yeah. It's a clarinet, right? Yeah. It's green, they have yellow ones also. It's called a clarinet. So, it's a pink coconut. So, you can see, this is the inner layer. Then we get to the jelly. And inside there is the water, so it's pink. So you leave these for the owners, right? Yeah. Awesome. So we took like, I think it's only 12, we left three. It's great. And here we go. Actually, I'll take one. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of here. You, you want it? Oh, you want to hold it? Hey, hold it. <laughs> Dude, that dog was not playing. Woo! You good, bro? That was an experience. Between uh, just walking up to the house, just saying, uh, where can I have some? Can we leave some for you? Yes. The neighbor's like, no. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, I won't lie. I was scared for a second. That guy, man. He's like... Nah, that was just a joke. Yeah, I'm Okay, okay, okay. That's how we talk here. It's like the slang. You don't really understand it, yeah? I know, I know. When I hear two guys screaming at each other, I'm like, oh, sh what's happening? We just drove down the street, and here we are, another spot. Stay here. Right here? Stay here. Hi. So as you can see, this palm tree is between a few different properties. So we have to stay over here in the bush because we literally have to throw covenants right here. Because if not get into another property, then we have to like literally jump over. We can't do that. More coconuts. Wow, so many coconuts. Coconuts just keep coming. So now when he's done, he has to take it off, put it back on himself, lower himself, and then they pull it off and we go. Next tree. So how many trees do you do a day? 50 feet deep. It's so sort of an average, right? Yeah. yeah, like Marcus is saying, like they just keep going, hitting trees, hitting trees to see how many they can get. Some trees have very little, some have a lot. I think that this is their livelihood, right? They survive off this, so they have to get as many coconuts as possible. And every day, same thing. Wake up, go, get more. Let's make it to 30. You see some more there? Yeah, I see some more there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, another little 12 or so. Make it to 30. You tired yet? Not yet. Oh, no, I got tired. I got tired myself. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at those spikes. Just like that, we're back to the highway. You know what? It's time to offload this and drink some coconuts and eat some coconut flesh. You good? I am so good, dude. First time for you, right? First time. 35 years, he's never done this. This is an experience. Marcus, thank you so much. So what they have here is going back on, right? So that, 
That's for tomorrow. But you know what? Let's get a few. Let you. Let's get a few. Let's buy some bottles and uh, some jelly for sure. <sighs> That's for me, guys. It's for you? One for you, too. Oh, dude, one for me. Please, please, please. A good big, a big one. Big boy right there. It's big enough to know. We have their big ones all over, man. Woo! Just like that. Oh my, I can't even pick it up. That was amazing. I guess. Is that ready? A little bit of that. No. <laughs> that was like sediment. Thoughts? Awesome, dude. Awesome. Are you good? Did you finish? Did you finish? I've been drinking for days. <laughs> That's it. So now what they're doing is they're just like literally throwing everything they cut today away. So they offloaded all the good stuff. They're dumping in all the other stuff, all the, all the trash, basically, right? And they're gonna take it to a dump. And that's a dump that is given by the government for anybody who's cutting down anything uh, agriculture, right? Wow. So we're getting two jellies. We got the coconut, we got a, a gallon, and they gave us a little discount, so it's 24. 24. So I got 150. What do I got? You have 20? Then I'll, I'll give you that back later. Perfect. And you know what, guys? It's because I've been too generous. All right, so Marcus and my two boys here are so nice. Obviously, I tipped them. And now, some jelly. I'm exhausted, guys. I'm literally exhausted. But this is heaven. The last one, guys. Heaven, my man. Thank you guys so much. Hey, my man. Hey, buddy. What's your name? I'm sorry. Scott. 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 Scott, buddy. Next Respect. time. Yeah? Next time. Wish you guys good luck, right? All the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Guys, this is coconut culture here with the king of coconuts. The kings. The kings right here. The three guys that can do it. Oh my God, that was intense, guys. That was intense. All the time. Thank you so much. Thank you. So guys, now you know, Sundays, Barbados, come here, see Marcus, drink coconuts, buy some of the coconuts from here, like a gallon, right? Also some jelly. You will enjoy it. I love it here. Hey, Bim, Beijing All culture. Right. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to eat some more of this.